to Mondays with Michael, and we're actually posting on a Monday this week. Congratulations to us. Uh, last video, we actually shared some market stats, and uh, I got quite a bit of response from that. A lot of realtors uh, and, and buyers and sellers alike responded, asked questions, dug deeper. So I, I thought this week, let's do a slightly deeper dive on what's going on with the market. So once a month, at the end of each month, I'm going to share some things on how we're doing year to date this year versus last year. Today's February 3rd, so let's compare January of this year to January of last year. So I ran a couple numbers today. Uh, number one, the closed units in, in all of the GSMLS territory, that's most of northern New Jersey, closed units year to date January versus last year are currently down 5.5%. So we've sold 5.5% less homes. However, it's odd because we've sold 6.4% more volume. So wait a second, we've sold 5% less homes for 6% more volume. What's that tell us? The average price of homes that closed in January of this year versus January of last year, were actually up 11%. So that doesn't mean we've seen 11% bump in our pricing. What it means is the average buyer this January versus last January was actually a higher price buyer than this time last year. So it tells us there's definitely some, uh, some confidence going on in the marketplace and, and the things that are selling are on the higher price points. Now, if I take that and compare that to Morris County as a subset of North Jersey, it's actually a slightly different story. We've actually sold 12% more homes this January versus last January, so it's much more robust market in Morris County than it is over the average of the GSMLS. We've sold, again, 12% more homes. We've sold 12% more homes for 20% more volume, so we are seeing that same thing. The average prices in Morris County are 8% or... The, the average buyer in, in Morris County is just in a slightly higher average price point than it was this time last year. So when you look at January or January, both in Northern Jersey and, uh, and, and Morris County, we're seeing that bump in volume, which is showing us uh, the, the, the upper price point is doing a little bit better. When I say upper price point, this could be the, the 550 price point as opposed to the 350 price point. This isn't saying the million dollar market is any better than it's been. And then if I look at two levels deeper in, in all GSMLS, if I look at written units, again, when we look at the units that were written or the homes that went under contract in January, we, we, we put 8.7% more homes under contract than we did last January for 13% more volume. So we're still seeing that 6% bump. The average buyer this January is spending more money than they were last January. And then the last number we look at is listing volume versus units. This January versus last January, we've actually taken 10% less listings. So again, the written activity is up, the closed volume activity is up, but the listing inventory is down by 10%. And again, we're down by 20% in volume, uh, which we're seeing that same price, price movement going on there. So moral of the story is the average buyer out there writing contracts this last few months is spending more money than they were this time last year. However, the available listing inventory has dropped considerably by 10%. So if you're if you're someone who's got a home in that in that four hundred to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar range, that strong middle price point, it may be a good time to list your home now before the spring market because you'll compete against a good number of buyers with less competition because inventory is low. So this could be the best time for you to get top price for your home as opposed to waiting for the spring market. Hope this helps. Any questions? Give me a call. Make a comment. Shoot me a text. Nine zero eight six two five fifty eight zero seven. Have a great February. Talk to you next week.